12 years ago when I first came to UK, I had a dream, crazy goal of achieving my pharmacy diploma for the future of the And 12 years later, all of that goal has become reality. But it's left me feeling blank. What should I pursue next? Which led me thinking about having a book series of what books that I want to read in this year of me, the transition of 29 going to 30, to help me improve my knowledge, to expand my mindset. Today, we are diving into a thought-provoking book by Ray Dalio. He is also a hedge fund manager. Even though I'm not an active investor, I enjoy reading through a lot of books that are written by investors because I feel like the reason why they become so successful in investing is because they have a great principle in life. I can learn so much philosophy from them. So the books that I want to share with you guys today is Principle. For is such a long, thick book and I feel like every single page in the book there is a principle that we can read and apply it into our life. Ray Dalio suggests us to do to embrace reality, build a strong mindset and thrive in life. So let's get started. Principle number one from Ray Dalio is to learn to embrace reality and deal with it. I've mentioned about this before in my previous video when I talk about the lesson that I've learned from Richard Wilde and Happier by William Green when we should really project ourselves, our life based on the constant change that evolution gave us and we should not project our life based on sameness because it will put it at risk of being swiped away by surprises. In this moment in time, I feel like I have achieved my goals, but also by not setting up the new goal, I has become more complacent. So I had to wake up and face the reality, the big goal that I need to pursue so that I can maximize my potential. And actually the reality is that as human, we are striking to evolve daily. That is just part of how we evolve from hunter-gatherer to the modern sapien that we are meant to have the life in this earth to make an impact and it doesn't matter whether the impact that you are giving it's such a small tiny speck we just have to do it that is what life gives you the flavor the reality is that we need to pursue that dream whether it's a big or small dream is what help us wake up in the morning that embrace that dream wisely and work toward it with full determination Ray Dalio suggests us two kind of people in life there's those that enjoy life and those that want to make an impact and I think for me I want to be able to make an impact whether it's big or small and whether that impact is on a small speck in the universe help me recognizing that going back to the why the why that I want to start this channel for example I want to be able to share my knowledge and my reflection through my life so what is your priority in life? Set aside a time so that you can sit back and reflect on what is your priority. Ray also reminds us that the bigger the goal that you set, the higher chance that you're going to fail and actually recognizing that it's okay to fail because every time you fail, stretching yourself to become a better version of yourself, we need to get past the pain, overcome our own limit. What is your goal that you're setting for yourself um, and how would you measure that you have overcome your limit and maximize your potential? The lesson that Ray Dalio wants us to know, in order to grow effectively, we should need to practice radical open-mindedness. That is the key for rapid change and growth. And the way to grow much faster for us is to learn to be able to take uh, the criticism from others, especially for me, the transition to the people in living from Vietnam to the UK. And I find that the people in the UK are so polite and they would not tell you um, the real feedback. You know, I've compared to the people in Vietnam anyway. They, they, you know, they would just tell you that, oh, actually you put on weight a little bit. So like, that's something that I am so the dread of going home because people could just tell me, give me the feedback 
in my face that actually you put on weight culturally it's so different like you would not hear that feedback from any English people and I think that's something that I need to have that wake up call to have the real feedback so get the feedback from as Ray Dalio would call them believable people and do you know that the feedback that they give you will be a transparent feedback will be no filters needed and you just need to get that that tough love the real feedback for you to grow so learn to face that criticism and not let the fear of what the people will think affects your development and Ray Dalio tell us that being radically open-mindedness is a habit is a habit we just need to cultivate it research has shown that it takes 18 months for our body to implement a new habit in the next 18 months or so to open up for feedback and open up to see what are our blind spots. An example would be I did not make time to ensure that I do my recording or uploading my videos. I have failed to meet my personal commitment and sometimes even though Tristan remind me because he want me to stick to that personal agreement I end up getting really frustrated with him because he had reminded me my weakness knowing that it's for my own benefit I still felt like I was attacked from reflecting and reading through principle I know that whenever those circumstances happens I know that I need to think from a higher perspective from my my higher self that frontal cortex instead of from the lower self of our chin brain to like, react emotionally instead of logically third principle that i've gathered from principles by ray dalio is that we need to learn the law of nature and to learn and operate everything based on observing how nature works and ray dalio encourages us to embrace reality and learn how nature works and nature will always trying to optimize the benefit for the whole instead of an individual we're looking through light to a uh, glasses that we think that everything should operate for our own benefit or for those that we are associated with for their benefit so we get hung up in that motions but actually we need to look at it from the higher perspective that nature whatever nature is how it will evolve through trial and errors is always trying to optimize the benefit for the whole population instead of an individual just like bob Iger, the ceo of disney was one put it you weather evolve or die so I choose to evolve. This is Ray Dalio put it. Don't get hung up on your views of how things should be because you will miss out on learning how they really are. And the final principle that I think that's most important from Ray Dalio in terms of how we should look at the reality and how we can use that as a guidance to grow is actually recognizing that reality to what we can learn through human evolution Ray Dalio put it really nicely is that evolving is life's greatest accomplishment and it's the greatest reward is what drives us toward the advance of technology and how it would help us survive and evolve the question is that how do we grow and adapt in uh, such a fast-paced world that we are living in right now and with the power of ai's uh, taken into control of our daily life and how it will people will scare that it would make us all become redundant and become unnecessary so what can we do to instead of being afraid of the, the speed of change that we are going through we should embrace it so what can we do to do that and according to Ray Dalio the fastest way of learning is through trial and errors we're not learning about business by reading business book we need to operate the business itself to learn about the inside the accounting the expenses and everything associated with it again using myself as an example transition from a full-time employed pharmacist when I didn't have to worry about keeping any receipts for my daily expense it could be as simple as taking the train to work or buying my meal for lunch I have to 
think about that and that is something that I would have not know should I just read about it. I actually had to take the action myself and learn and adapt and see, you know, what is the wicked way to record by expand accordingly, effectively and be able to go back to it whenever I need to because you are so employed individual, you know that you had to keep all of your receipt for six years and we can learn a much better doing is faster than reading whatever goal that you're setting for yourself take the action instead of you know for me i know that i could just read about it and be stuck in the infinity pool of information that available on the internet and pretending that i am busy but actually forget to take the action so make that executive decision and take the action and learn along the way and do not be worried that if you are making mistakes because that is how we learn the moment we realize that we make mistakes or we face any challenge that is when you are forming the new connection in your brain that you have learned something new and pushing yourself and that is what will give you the satisfaction that we have evolved so let's try to make an impact let's try to face the reality and learn along the way because that remember it's the greatest life reward that's it that's all for me today it's just some insights into principle that i've gathered from reading through principle by ray dalio i've read these books a few years ago but it, i find it's quite helpful to recap a bit again for me maybe i'm getting older and my life perspective might change over time so i managed to extract completely different lesson from the book for me it's good to just recap over them again as a reminder and also learn and gain more useful lesson which is why i wanted to recap over it again and make it as part of a series of the books that I want to read before turning 30. I hope you find this lesson useful. If you have learned even just one thing from the video, why not just hit that subscribe button and help me share this lesson, this journey with many more people. And again, thank you very much for your time and I look forward to see you again in the next video. Take care and goodbye.